Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. What's up? Okay, today's video is a what's in my purse video, which is highly requested and very popular on my channel. I'm not really sure why. I mean, I like to watch them occasionally, but like, you guys must be nosy or something when to see what's in here. After I filmed my, let's see, what I packed for Florida video, I showed this bag and you guys were pretty interested in the bag itself. And then my Amazon video, I talked about what's inside of it a little bit. So that kind of sparked this video. Before we jump into it, this bag is a tote purse from Marley Lily. If you guys aren't familiar with it, it is a company that has all kinds of stuff, shirts, bags, jewelry, shoes, all kinds of stuff, but they their specialty is like monogramming. So I do have a monogram on here. Um, the funny thing is, even after I got married, I could keep everything that I had monogrammed because my last name still started with an S. So that was awesome. But this was actually a purchase after my wedding. So this was like the first thing I ordered that was like monogrammed after I got married, which shouldn't really be a big deal because my monogram's the same. But like it was my first like married monogram, even though it was the same. If you guys know me, you know, like my aesthetic is like this bag. White, black, and brown is like my favorite colors in the world. If you can't tell, I love neutrals. Um, so this like this bag couldn't be more ideal for me. This is like the first bag that I've truly felt like I could use this for the rest of my life. Like the, the whole situation I have going on. I absolutely love it. If you've watched any of my What's In My Purse videos, I think I have two or three on my channel. I'll link them. Uh, you know I like big purses. I like big purses because I carry a lot of shit. I'm gonna be honest. I really carry stuff I don't need, but I like to be over prepared. That's just my mentality. That's the, the Scorpio in me. That's what I do. I like to be the one that's prepared. I like to know what's happening and I like to, to be ready for whatever is going to happen. I like big person but i also like to be that like cute minimalist girl and have a crossbody so that's what i do that's why i like tote purses so much because i like a small crossbody in it that way i can keep all my work junk in here i can throw my lunch in here i can put my laptop in here but then like if i'm running all around carrying all this stuff around and i'm like oh, i gotta run into walmart i don't want to carry just my my wallet and my keys because i'm like dropping stuff i don't have hands I just pull this out and this is perfect to go from going to dinner with friends or family. I just bring this, you know, I don't have to carry this whole thing, but I also don't have to keep swapping things back and forth. That is like the best girl hack that I've ever figured out for my life because I love a big purse, but I love a small crossbody. So I, I find a crossbody that fits in my tote purse. They match, they coordinate. When it's inside, it just looks like a little purse insert. So you're welcome in advance because I just changed your life if you try that out because it is... It is a game changer. I have no other words other than that it is a game changer. So I took that out because it's like, then you can see like what it actually looks inside. I haven't used this since before Florida when I went to work because when I'm filming this video, which when I'm uploading this video, I may not be anymore, but when I'm filming this video, I'm still in quarantine. So I haven't actually used this. I've only been using my crossbody. So honestly, I don't even know what the inside of this purse looks like, but I'm gonna show you. Oh yes, yeah, sis, it's a whole wreck in here. But so it is literally just one giant tote purse and then there's one zipper pocket on it. But I love this Marley Lily purse because it's not like a a soft material. Like it's not cloth inside. It's actually like a, I don't know if you guys can tell by like the looks of it, but it's very easy to clean off if anything were to spill inside of it. <clears throat> it is super, super mom friendly if you were interested in that. The way I'm going to start is I'm just going to like reach down into the very bottom and show you like what's just laying down in here first. And now that's like obviously where my crossbody would usually set down in there too. So the first thing that I have is my um, prescription migraine medicine. I, I never go anywhere without this. I also have some of these in my crossbody in case I just take my crossbody. But I can't go anywhere without this because if you get migraines, you know that's like you get one, you're out, you're done for the day, you know. Um, I just have some sunglasses in here. Uh, there's n They're not in a case. Uh don't know why yeah you never know when you're gonna need some sunglasses and then I always like I said this is my work purse too so I always keep um, a perfume and a deodorant with me um, I used to always keep this in my car I since learned it's better to have it in my purse because then I always have it with me um, 
and since I don't carry my purse every my, my tote everywhere this is the perfect place to keep it so I just use the native deodorant um, it is made with friendly ingredients and then my favorite perfume ever is love by Victoria's Secret I have been wearing it for years so it's like the perfect amount of like girly but like a mature woman so if you just as like a body so I love those two always keep them in my tote Let's see, I have a Norwax lint cloth um, because you know we don't use lint rollers, we're, we're saving waste and also this is perfect because it doesn't take up a ton of space, it's just a flat little thing but this is the best thing to use to get lint off your pants and as a cosmetologist I wear black all the time and I always have fuzz and hair all over me so this is a must have, I always keep some kind of a lint capturer thing in one of my purses. Okay. Um, I also have a fruit leather, raspberry fruit leather, because you never know when you're going to need a snack. Garbage. I have a lot of garbage. Pop socket stuff. I have the Quay Australia sunglass cleaning wipes. Um, I'm getting down to like the garbage stuff because I'm at the very, very bottom. I have a two prong necklace clasp. This is from Amazon if you've never seen one of these. It like, you can clip two necklaces together so that your chains don't get all like stuck and wrapped around each other. I don't know why this is in here. I think maybe I broke it and I put it in here. I'm not really sure why, but I just have a pen down at the bottom, uh, a piece from my broken keychain, and my Thieves essential oil hand sanitizer, which we all know this is like a must have at this point in the world is hand sanitizer. Mm, it just smells so good. So that, oh, and then I have this little um, canvas tote, which actually is like the same kind of material, like it matches perfect for like the outside of this purse. Um, but this is from, I don't remember what her company is called. I'm going to try to leave it linked down below. I got it when it was on sale and I got it with a bigger bag. I didn't buy this individually. Um, but it's from, you know, like Jess Conti on YouTube. It's like her company or is it something Willow. I can't remember what it is though, but that's what this bag is from. It is so sweet. It just says choose kindness. Like how cute is this little canvas bag? And like it matches like the material of my purse perfectly. Um, so this actually came with a bigger bag from Jess's company. But this is like my little cosmetic girly bag. Um, so I keep, if there's like a little divider in this. And there's tampons over here because I always need those. And then over here I just keep like random little cosmetics. I keep like a little Smashbox um, face bronzer duo like I said I work this is my work bag so like when I do work I'm usually working like 12 to 13 hour days so sometimes I do need to freshen up um I just keep like one brush in there to use for all of these if I ever need it uh I keep some lipsticks in here chapstick um my little tart lip balm um scissors um I keep these in here just because one time they weren't in here and I stabbed myself and I literally could not stop bleeding um but little eyebrow scissors but these I actually don't use to like trim my eyebrows this is in case like, you know, you're in the car, you're out somewhere and you need to get something and you don't have anything sharp to open it. You have little scissors. Um, and I also just keep like a little dry mini beauty blender because you never know when you just need to get this wet and you're in the bathroom and just like touch up under your eyes. That's like a super good girl hack too. Um, and then I also just have a little mini um, Kat Von D eyeliner in case you ever need to touch up. Anything like that. I usually, or I used to keep um, a mini lash glue in here. I don't do that anymore because I don't wear lashes anymore. I've gone like, like did a total 360 with my life. I actually don't know the last time I actually retched to the beauty side of this pouch, but you never know when you're going to need it. That is all for the bottom of the pouch. So I'm going to grab into this guy here. This is something of a disaster, maybe would be the word that we'd use. So first thing, which you might have saw sticking out, is a stainless steel straw. This is such a good thing to carry in your purse if you don't go get your stainless steel straw from your cupboard and put it in your purse and I'm gonna tell you it's twofold for why it's a good thing one you're saving the sea turtles because you're not using plastic straws you're not creating waste in the world you know you're being more efficient that way you're helping save the world without spending a huge amount of money second thing is it keeps me drinking water when I go out at restaurants it's so easy to like order like a spiked drink or a soda something like that that you know you need a straw to put in and I know it would be easy just not to use a straw but I'm like weird and I always use a straw but 
I don't like want to like get my straw all sticky and syrupy and have to stick it back in my purse. So this makes me drink more water because I don't order anything other than water at restaurants because I don't want my straw to be like gross and sticky. Does that make sense? Like having this and like wanting to use it like for like the earth conscious purposes makes me drink water in turn is making me a little bit more healthy. That's my own like little personal hack is to force yourself to be healthy and save the world by carrying a stainless steel straw. Farther down in there I have my keys. Um, I'm actually on the hunt for like a new key thing, like a holder. I'm not loving this. This is from Thread Wallet. It's actually had a matching phone case with my old phone and there's also like a little card holder that goes with it. I don't use all that stuff because otherwise my keys don't fit into my crossbody when it needs to fit in here. So I don't do that. And this is actually this little tassel is from a ring that I ordered on Amazon and the ring ended up breaking. So I'm like my keys aren't that aesthetic. I'm going to be honest, but I, I use all of my keys. I have a lot of keys on here and I use all of them. Um, so what is that quick set one for? I don't know. Anyway, so I just keep my keys kind of wherever, whichever bag I'm using. I just toss them in. Um, I have another random pen just in there. I keep um, some Tum smoothies in here for when Max's acid reflux gets too bad. Um, you never know when you're going to be out somewhere and you're going to get really bad heartburn. This is always nice to keep on hand. It's small, compact. Uh, that's always good. Another tampon. Um, a pack of gum, which I didn't know was in here. There's like a full pack of gum in here. I always keep <clears throat> a phone charger on me. I never go anywhere without a phone charger. It like stresses me out to go places without a phone charger. Even though my phone like never dies. It's always been this weird thing like I would always carry phone chargers with me so I always keep a phone charger and I keep a big block just because if you're out somewhere and need to charge your phone in a pinch this will charge your phone faster the iPad chargers do so always keep that in there I keep pepper spray I used to keep this on my keys I know I probably still should but if I keep this on my keys then it doesn't fit into my crossbody and then it's like a first world problem so don't come at me but I do have pepper spray with me um, and I just have a tied stain stick down in here in the bottom. Um, I also just have like a couple little wet wipes. These are from Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, just because you never know when you're going to have a grimy kid in the backseat of your car. That is what we have in the purse. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to hop over to my crossbody. I don't know if I even said where my crossbody is from. It is a Michael Kors crossbody. Um, I ordered it on Amazon. I don't know... Don't come at me. I don't know if that means it's like real Michael Kors, if it's fake. I honestly don't care. I just like the crossbody. I liked how compact it was. I liked how little it was. It was a red color brown. So that's why I ordered it. Not for the kind of purse that it is. But it does have a long strap. It is adjustable here on the side. It does adjust. Um, so that's awesome. It has a little bit of gold detailing. If you know me, you know I don't wear silver. I only ever wear gold. Uh, I absolutely love this purse. It is one of probably the best purchases as far as like fashion pieces go that I've ever bought in my life like yes my other purse is cute but this is the most practical I don't think I've ever used a purse as long as I've used this one so I'm just gonna go ahead and unzip it and it is pretty jam-packed like I said I haven't been using my tote purse I've just been using this for the last two months of quarantine so again what is in here could be interesting the first thing I'm gonna pull out and we'll go into later is is my wallet um, I'm gonna, I'll show you guys the inside of this later, but I did get my wallet on Amazon. I was filming my Amazon video and I realized I have a purse or a wallet that would literally match this perfect. It's brown with gold studs and stuff. I don't know why I'm not using that. I don't know if it was maybe too wide for this purse, but I also don't know where that wallet's at. Anyway, anyway, I ordered this guy on Amazon and I really love it. So we'll come back and I'll show you guys inside this later. But then inside my purse... You can see, I feel like everybody has this, so like you might even know what the inside looks like, but it has like a big section in the middle, a side here, and then another side over there. So I'm just going to go into the side pockets, and I don't really keep anything in the middle other than a hand sanitizer, and usually I just keep my wallet right in the center. So I'm just going to reach over to here first, and first thing in it is my mask, uh, quarantine life, gotta, gotta always keep a mask. Um, and then I keep <clears throat> migraine medicine in a Nintendo DS case. You guys came for me in my last video. I showed you this. 
I've been doing this since I was in high school just to keep it flat. It doesn't, it's not bulky like a little um, actual medicine container. Um, so I love this. My, I told you I keep it in both purses. Can't go anywhere without it. I have another tampon. Um, I keep a perfume in there, which again is just a rollerball of that perfume for my big tote purse. It is the Love by Victoria's Secret. And then I have a couple lip products in here. This is my all-time favorite lip gloss, which let's, let's put a little bit of lip gloss on because, you know, why not? So this lip gloss is just my favorite lip gloss ever, which I'm sure you've heard me talk about. It is the e.l.f. Plumping Lip Gloss. Can't go wrong. I keep, like, three of these in my car, one in my purse, one at work, one, like, everywhere I keep these. Um, and this is in the shade Peach Bellini. This is the only shade that I actually love. The other ones are good, but, like, this is the one that I can put on with anything, and it's my favorite. Um, and then I also just have a ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Cookie. Really love that. It's like a perfect neutral that you can just slap on if your lips are looking a little too dead. You didn't want a gloss. You want something more for dinner. This is a perfect alternative. I love the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. <clears throat> um, I have a Thieves Hand Sanitizer. I love it. I don't really know what to say. Also, while we're on the topic of hand sanitizers, I have this... Um, I don't even know how to say it. Dab hand sanitizer. I have another pen in here. Apparently I like carrying around pens. My watch is going off. I have hand or I have hair ties. I always have hair twisties with me because nine chances out of 10, I will style my hair at a point in the day and my hair will end up looking like it does now. So always have hair ties because you never know when you're gonna need them. Um, I keep a Band-Aid, whoops. I keep a Band-Aid because I feel like I'm always hurting myself. I keep a little essential oil dropper in here, which actually is due for a refill. Um, but this is so nice because I love using like stress relief um, oils and stuff. I've actually been like slowly transitioning my life into like oils rather than perfumes and medicines. So this is a little dropper I always keep with me just to help with, I usually do a little bit of stress relief with peppermint because peppermint is good for migraines, which obviously I get those a lot and I just get very stressed out. So I need to actually refill my little dropper. Now I'm going to switch over to the other side of another pack of gum because the, no matter what purse you have, you never know when you're going to need gum. I keep my checkbook in my purse because, you know, I'm not going to flip it around, but checkbook. And what is this? These are movie tickets from before COVID started. Love that. And that's all. That's all that's in here. I have some change in the bottom, but that's, that's all I have in my purse. So... Um, I'm going to stick this stuff kind of back in here and then I will show you my wallet. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what's in my wallet. Again, I got this from Amazon. Um, it is, I think a travel wallet is technically what it's called, but it snaps here and snaps here. Um, so let me just cover my license here because I didn't before. This is what it looks like. It holds like a million cards. I love it. Um, I never used to keep like all my gift cards and stuff in the same wallet and then I'd end up at the store and realize I had a gift card and I didn't bring it da da da. So it's the first wallet that I've actually kept all of my cards and gift cards, all everything. Um, so I absolutely love that. And then these two pockets up top actually zipper. So in the one side I just keep cash and then in the back side I keep my all kinds of stuff. like emergency cards like Lux's ID like if I were to be in a car accident they would look at my wallet they can see I have a pet at home so that she's okay um my husband's number a lucky two dollar bill I keep in my wallet voting cards all kinds of stuff I love my wallet and I really like that it's skinny that's the biggest reason why I use this wallet and a travel wallet because it's very, very compact and like everything fits in my purse and then usually if I'm taking this I'll just throw my keys right on the top I just toss my keys at the top zip it up and it's good to that is all that's what I carry in my purse I know I carry a lot of stuff um but you know what I always feel prepared I never feel like I have my purse and don't have what I need so that is what I look for in a bag that is all for this video please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe down below um yeah, I think that's everything. Bye. <laughs> Freaking yeah, bro. See ya.